In today's video, I'm going to go over the best quarterback in Madden Ultimate Team and why I believe he is the best quarterback. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. We post four tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube. Most of the time, we break down defensive tips, offensive tips, user tips, those kind of things, money schemes, that stuff. But today we are taking a little bit of a deep dive into Mutt and just kind of going over some of the latest updates with some of the latest cards that have come out and kind of explaining how you can navigate that and select the best card that fits your um, needs and your team. Now, it's very obvious, uh, at least this year, that you want to go with a strong arm quarterback at least to start right now, right? You can run a hot route master, but in my opinion, I think it's more important because if you run Hot Route Master Quarterback, you're going to have to put Set Feet Lead on him. So you're really going to be spending 4 AP for that, like if you were running a McNair or Steve McNair or something like that, or a Joe Montana. So you're going to be spending 4 AP on that, and then you're probably going to be spending a couple of different AP for route chemistries for your receivers. Whereas what I would recommend, and not route chemistries, I'm sorry, Slotomatic or Route Technician or things like that. But what I would recommend is one of these two guys now a lot of people would suggest that you go with josh allen and here's why when you look, take a look at his attributes he has um and this is not chemistry up so we'll go over what chemistry him up will do for him he has 95 throw power 89 short accuracy 88 medium accuracy and 86 deep accuracy now if i were to put go deep chemistry on him what that would mean is his throw power would go to 99 which is the best that you can possibly get, at least so far. Um, his short accuracy would stay the same. His medium accuracy would stay the same. And his deep accuracy would go to 90 um, overall. Now, if you power him up, it's also, I think he might go to 91, but um, it's, it's right in that 90. However, the medium accuracy stays the same and the short accuracy stays the same. So now what I want to do is I want to show you Brett Favre and I want to show you why I think Brett Favre is actually better than um, than Josh Allen, and here's why. And I'm actually going to probably be changing my chemistries from the go deep to the play fake. I was primarily using the go deep chemistry so that I could make sure everybody had 90 deep route running. Now that we have better cards in the game that all have it, um, I can actually shift and go into a play fake chemistry. But what I want to show you with this is this is chemistry up, okay? So just to make sure that you're fully aware, when you power Brett Favre up, he is going to have a 90, um, a 98 throw power with the chemistry boost. So it's not 99, but it's 98, which is dang near close. And the other thing about Brett Favre is he's slower than Josh Allen. He's slower than Josh Allen. He's smaller than Josh Allen. Like, from a physical perspective, Josh Allen is a better quarterback than Brett Favre. But here's what I want you to see. When I power Brett Favre up, his deep accuracy is going to go to 90 overall, okay, because you get that plus one boost across the board. So his his deep chemistry accuracy is going, or deep accuracy is going to be at 90 overall. Once I put play fake on him, his medium accuracy is going to go up plus four once I put everybody with play fake chemistry. So he's going to have 90 short accuracy. 92 um, medium accuracy and 90 deep accuracy with uh, 96 throw under pressure and 98 throw power. The reason that is significant is because if you take a look at um, if you take a look at the Josh Allen card, you're gonna find that if I were to do the same thing with Josh Allen, so let's just assume the same thing. Um, so let's take a look at his attributes here really quickly. Um, if I were to do the same thing, he would not meet the deep accuracy threshold. So he would be underneath the accuracy threshold on one of those points. Now, is that a big deal or not? I think it's a big deal, but really the bigger deal, you know, and again, you, you sacrifice a little bit of accuracy, you gain a little bit of speed, and that's kind of how people have been thinking about Josh Allen. And that is correct, but what people forget about it is the way the player looks and the way the player plays are two different things. Brett Favre, because he has the fastest throwing release in the game, you will find that he plays a lot better than Josh Allen. I've tested both of these cards out extensively, and the conclusion that I've come to is, yeah, 99 throw power is cool as a statistic, but he doesn't play as good as Brett Favre. And that's why I'm going to recommend that Brett Favre 
has stood the test of time, and you'll see all the competitive players more than likely using Brett Favre. Uh, some of them will use Dante Culpepper for his mobility, um, but Dante Culpepper has one of the slowest releases in the game. Some will use Josh Allen as that kind of go-between, but in my opinion, if you're a passer, if you're a pass-oriented player, Brett Favre is the quarterback for you. Put Gunslinger on him, and you're going to realize how how powerful he is. He has the best release in the game, at least right now. Until a quarterback comes out with a better release than Brett Favre, um, I am probably going to be sticking with him for a while, and I would recommend you to do the same. Now, if you haven't joined our text message membership, we have a pretty amazing tip coming out this coming week um, with some offensive tips and tricks, uh, offensive schemes that are going to blow your mind with what you can do with this Brett Favre card. We'll be doing some full analysis on that. So just shoot me a text if you want to sign up for those those uh, breakdowns. We send them out every single Monday uh, to our text message members, 100% free. My number is 812-216-3644 if you want to sign up for that. But other than that, guys, uh, we are going to cover a couple more positions later today. But be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you want to talk Madden 24-7 with me and my community, I'd highly encourage you to jump into our community Discord. A link is in the description.